are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Well, guys, yesterday, the Marxist NBA of China started their 2022-2023 NBA season. And it was the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors against uh, LaChina James and the Los Angeles Lakers. And the Warriors did defeat LeBron James and the Lakers. That's not really a surprise. The Lakers are not that good. But however, we're here to talk about um, Steph Curry. Now, Steph Curry uh, decided he would virtue signal for Brittany Griner in the pregame. Now, guys, I don't know how many Warriors fans actually know uh, Brittany Griner. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Not really sure. But Brittany Griner is in Russian prison and that's where she actually does belong. She actually broke the law. Now, I do not agree with uh, nine years in a Russian prison. I don't. But however, Brittany Griner knew that she actually broke the law. Well, Steph Curry decided to virtue signal in pregame and even say that Brittany Griner was wrongfully incarcerated. Now, guys, this should not be a surprise. You know, the Marches NBA at China, uh, they love criminals. They do. I mean, this is the same lead that actually uh, walked out of games over the criminal Jacob Blake. Now, what Jacob Blake did was much worse than what uh, Brittany Griner did. And honestly, guys, it's not even close. Jacob Blake is a scumbag and he actually deserves to be in prison. However, let's go ahead and dive into this, guys. And also, Brittany Griner had a message on a 32nd birthday. And I believe that is the reason why Steph Curry actually uh, brought this up. But let's go ahead, guys, and uh, watch this uh, clip here. And this game was in uh, Golden State. You can see the the Warriors out there, Virtue sitting, Ling, uh, we are BG. Let's listen to what Steph Curry actually had to say. I want to continue to use our platform and the opportunity to shout out a very special member of the basketball community. Brittany Griner's birthday is today. She's 32 years old. We want to continue to let her name be known, and we pray that it's been 243 days since she's been wrongfully uh, incarcerated in Russia, and we hope that she comes home soon and everybody's doing their part to get her home. Well, your leader, Joe Biden, is doing nothing to get her home. Nothing. But these are the kind of people that you guys support. You guys support people that really don't care about you. Brittany Griner is nothing more than a virtue signal for um the people in charge, the people that you wanted to uh, vote for. I mean, guys, Rhodes already put up a video how uh, Joe Biden is basically using uh, Brittany Griner as a political pawn, talking about how he wants to get her out before the midterms. Now, now, guys, I'm going to be honest. I don't believe there's anybody that's going to vote for Democrats just because um, Joe Biden is uh, getting Brittany Griner back. I'm pretty sure the vast majority of voters don't even know who she is. I want to be clear about that. But. Steph Curry coming out and saying that she is wrongfully incarcerated. Not a surprise. Not a surprise whatsoever. These Marxist players are pro criminal. They are. I don't know why you actually had to come out and um, say this. She was wrong. She admitted that she actually did the crime. She did the crime. She admitted it. She decided to actually bring in vape cartridges into Russia. I mean, these players are just so stupid. They are just so, so stupid, man. But anyway, Brittany Griner releases message on 32nd birthday, marking eight months stay in Russian detention. And uh, she actually released a statement via her, her uh, Russian lawyers. And uh, guys, she didn't have much to say. Now, I don't know if uh, Russia was uh, telling her, hey, you can only release a very, very brief statement that was pretty much it. But this is what uh, Brittany Griner actually did say via her message. Uh, quote, thank you everyone for fighting so hard to get me home. All the support and love are definitely helping me. That's pretty much it. Nothing else really to say. Nothing, nothing at all. That's, that's the whole statement right there. But however, um, Russia does not actually see Brittany Griner as a priority. 
They really don't care. They don't care about Brittany Griner actually um, uh, getting traded back to the U.S. They can actually care less. There's bigger fish to fry for um, Vladimir Putin. I said it before, guys, I believe she's going to stay there probably a minimum of the next two years. I believe it's truly going to take another administration to actually get Brittany Griner back. Now, Bill Richardson has been over there talking about he expects her home by the end of the uh, end of the year. Doesn't look like that's going to happen, folks. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. The problem is world leaders do not respect Joe Biden. I'm going to repeat that again, folks. World leaders do not respect Joe Biden. I highly recommend uh, that you guys go and do a little bit of research on how the Saudis actually feel about uh, Joe Biden. They don't respect this man. But this is the man that the Marxist NBA of China won in an office. Guess what? You got him. You got him. Guess what? He can't do anything for Brittany Griner. I mean, this man can't can um, do anything about inflation. He can't do anything about high gas prices. How in the world you guys think he can actually get back Brittany Griner, who is low hanging fruit for Russia? They really don't care. And by the way, uh, Steph Curry, by the way, that's other Americans that's actually been in Russia longer. Will you speak out for them? Of course not, because Brittany Griner is probably the biggest virtue signal out there in sports. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.